It's important we stay vigilant and keep safety at the front of our minds at all times. We need to speak up if we see poor manual handling techniques and rectify it straight away. This tool can cause serious injury through incorrect use. We're here to show you how to use it. This is a pan puller. Used to pull up clips onto concrete sleepers. So before we use it, we must check for safety. So we check all over the whole uh, shaft for bearing. Also the handles to make sure they're straight and there's no bearing on them. It's critical that the beak is in secure with the sur clips in either side of the pin. Just check the beak in there for its roundness. Make sure there's no breaks at the end of the beak. Make sure the beak is moving nice and freely and that the right angle area on the end of the tool is no damaged or missing or bent as it's critical for sitting on the lugs of the concrete sleeper. Okay, this, the concrete sleepers come with a, an E-clip 2003 and also what's called an insulator. These are actually nicknamed a biscuit in the field. So they go in between the lug and the clip and they insulate the electric current going through. So it sits in with the 2003 E-clip, which has a 750 download pressure once it's inserted for the first time with the new biscuit. Just make sure that we've got that nice square ridge in there sitting on the top of that lug. So drop your applicator over the top until it just clicks over the clip. Adjust your pan puller so it sits over the squareness there. Do not stand on the rail. Okay, always on firm ground. Pull it on a bit. Go back. Use your body weight. Pull back and twist off. When placing the biscuit between the concrete lug and the foot of the rail, do not force or strike the biscuit with a pan puller or any other tool. Remember when working with small tools, safety is our number one priority. Do it once, do it right. If you don't know how to use it, ask someone who does.